When a GM vehicle comes to your shop with either a P0742 fault code defined as TCC system stuck on, or a P1887 code for a TCC release switch circuit malfunction, factory service publications will direct you to record all freeze frame and failure records for future reference and then clear the code. The next statement reads, using the scan tool, observe the TCC release pressure status. This is not a problem if you have the factory scan tool, but what if you don't? The live data on your scanner may not display or allow you to view TCC release switch open or close status. Today we'll make use of our handy dandy portable lie detector device and run through some relatively easy external electrical checks. This will help us to determine whether the problem lies inside the transmission or is caused by some outside electrical issue. Let's start off with code P0742. This code will set when TCC is commanded off and voltage on circuit 657 remains low, or in other words, stays shorted to ground. Refer to the wiring diagram shown in figure one. We can see that the PCM provides voltage on circuit 657 to the normally closed to ground TCC release switch. This will be 12 volts whenever the key is on or the vehicle is running. The TCC release switch is internal to the trans as part of the fluid pressure switch assembly and is shown in figure two. Using the magic of the camera, I'm going to quickly remove this air cleaner box so it'll be easier to access the PCM and trans harness connector. To test circuit 657, unplug the harness connector at the transmission and identify terminal U, referring to figure 3 as a guide. Set your meter to DC volts, place the negative lead to a known good ground, and the positive lead to terminal U in the harness connector. Turn the key on with the engine off. Battery voltage should be seen. What we see here and now will determine where to go next. If battery voltage is seen, proceed with scenario one. If battery voltage is not seen, then proceed with scenario two. Scenario one. If battery voltage is seen at terminal U, then turn the key off. Plug in the trans connector and then turn the key on again. Check the voltage on the yellow wire to terminal U at the wire entry side of the connector. Very little or no voltage should be seen. Start the engine and check the voltage while the engine is running. Battery voltage should be seen. If battery voltage is not seen at this time, then the internal harness is shorted to ground or the TCC release switch is defective. This switch is normally closed to ground with no oil pressure. With the engine running in park, TCC release oil acting on the switch should open the contact, repair the internal harness, or replace the fluid pressure switch assembly as necessary. Scenario two, if battery voltage is not seen at terminal U, then refer to figure four and cut the yellow wire an inch or two from the PCM at terminal 63 in connector two for 98 and newer vehicles. Be careful, 97 cars use terminal 75. Check the voltage again on the piece of cut wire protruding from the PCM connector. If battery voltage is now present, then the wire is pinched or shorted to ground somewhere between here and terminal U. You can try to trace and repair the short or simply cut the wire out at terminal U in the harness connector as well and run a new one in its place. Be sure to tape both ends of the old wire back. Solder and shrink wrap the new wire and tape it into the existing harness for neatness. If the key is on, and there is still no voltage present on the piece of cut wire protruding from the PCM connector, 
then the PCM will require replacement as circuit 657 would be shorted to ground inside the PCM. Remember, electrically, this code can only be set by a short to ground on circuit 657. An intermittent or a constant open in this circuit will not set a code P0742. If all electrical checks test good at this time, while the transconnector is unplugged, get in the car and start it up. Taking a look at figure 7, we can see that with the transconnector unplugged and both shift solenoids off, the transmission will be forced to third gear, allowing second clutch oil to feed the TCC solenoid. Place your foot firmly on the brake and put the shifter in overdrive. If the engine stalls out or it feels like the converter clutch is dragging, then replace the TCC solenoid. It is stuck right now. Keep in mind that if the engine doesn't stall or drag at this time, that it doesn't necessarily mean that the solenoid is good. If this unit has never been apart before, then this would be a good time to drop the pan and split the filter open to see if there are any signs of internal problems that may require an overhaul. Any other causes for this fault code will require removal of the side cover and valve body at least.